So the burning question today, and I'm sure it's on everyone's lips, is I want to set up an outdoor cinema or even a home projection setup, but I don't have a lot of money. So should I buy a second-hand projector that's a couple of years old and maybe is not full high definition, or should I save my money and buy a very expensive and very new modern projector like this that I've installed a couple of years ago. This is an Epson 9200. It's wireless. It's unbelievably good and I love my movie nights with it. So this is fantastic but it is about four grand. Whereas this one, you wouldn't believe it, I bought this for ten dollars and it is a PTDW 5000E. It's a four and a half thousand lumen uh, 720p but it is a commercial projector it's got two lamps in it and if you go around the back two cooling fans so you get a little filter on that side same on the other side I didn't have a remote uh, with this one that's why it was so cheap that's the remote sensor there but absolutely everything is duplicated on the buttons on the back main power switch now connection wise it's not too bad uh, it does actually connect to the internet, which is unbelievable, but I'm not going to do that. It's got the old um, uh, BCN connectors for, for RGB. I'm not going to use those. It's got S-Video. Who uses that anymore? You can piggyback it uh, for remote control. All I'm going to do is use D-Sub-15, which is the old VGA, or DVI. So, for DVI, it's a full digital uh, pass, so you can use a DVI to HDMI cable which is worth about two bucks and that's an old D sub 15 VGA cable for older laptops so let's give it a test and see how it compares so what I'm going to try just out of curiosity is to see how long they both take to boot okay the race is on so this big monster now curiously you get two lamps here and it actually load shares between the two lamps so I'm really interested to see how this is going to work in practice. Now you can see it's alive. Whoa. Um, it makes a fair bit of noise. And the thing to really note about this projector, if you're considering one, is they are big. They are properly big. 21 inches for all of you foreigners, or uh, 530 mil for people that live in with SI units. 530 by 425. And it weighs, I think it weighs 11 or 12 kilos. So it's an absolute monster to, uh, to move around. All I've done here is do two separate recordings. One is an original source file which is on the far left, the middle one is the Panasonic and the right hand side is the Epson. And I'm just looking at uh, brightness, looking at sharpness. Uh, the Basically uh, the, the camera was set on manual and the only thing that changed was the white balance which tried to adjust itself uh, throughout which you'll see a little bit later on when I film a test pattern. So. The Panasonic is definitely not as sharp as the Epson. This is a fairly tight zoom in, a uh, fairly tight crop using a 200mm lens and the intent here is to see if you can see any discernible screen door and you certainly can. The uh, Panasonic uses DLP or digital light processing which has uh, been around since about 1987. It was a Texas Instruments technology license to users like Panasonic and it kind of blurs using micro mechanical mirrors whereas uh, the LCD is sharper, but apparently with DLP you get better blacks. So that's meant to be the technological trade-off, kind of like VHS versus Betamax. All I've done here is do a sharpness test. Again, a very, very tight crop on the 1920 by 1080p test pattern. So left and right. And you can actually see on the right hand side the camera's white balance is automatically trying to compensate everything else was locked in manual so uh, this is uh, just a, a quick snapshot showing the uh, the projector bulb is on uh, lamp power is on high for the Epson and these are the original videos I guess uh, in summary uh, basically this I'm treating this as a bit of a barn find ten dollars for a fifteen thousand dollar projector that uh, will fill a fifteen meter screen is just absolutely outstanding uh, any day of the week I take the Epson just because it's a fantastic uh, event movie projector but uh, if you're absolutely on a budget and you can find one of these old Panasonics flying around then grab it. 
really, really can't be happier. And uh, this one's going to my local scout hall, so I think they're going to be very happy.